Hi there, good morning. I'm jet lagged. I just spent the last three weeks going back and forth from Canada to Germany to Turkey to everywhere else in between. Um, so it's really early and I'm up and guess what I'm doing? I'm wrapping my Christmas gifts. It is September 1st and yes, I am partially through my Christmas shopping. How exciting is that? Now, I know what you may be thinking, like, oh my god, Christmas is so far away, but for me, it's really, really stressful if I leave anything to last minute in early December. Plus, the fact that I'm doing it early, I found in the past has saved me a ton of money because I'm not scrambling for a gift, I'm not just getting anything, I'm really putting thought into it so people really enjoy it um, when I give the gifts because they actually <laughs> like the gift and I'm not spending that much money because I don't need a gift right away. So, this is what I have. This is one really, really good tip um, for others trying to save, up, save money out there. You have to be organized. I mean, I'm sure there's other ways that you could not be organized and do well with saving money, but this has really helped for me. Alright, so here we go. I'll start with um, my number one number one gift. This is a Swarovski pen. I've already wrapped it. It's one to go to my mother. It's gorgeous. I got it from Duty Free um, on board uh, an airline. I checked out, priced out with the different airlines that I was flying with a couple of different ones. Um, and in different Duty Frees. And this is the best deal. So uh, it's a Swarovski pen. I paid I'm not too sure what the retail price was, but it was, it was everything from um, a duty free, like it was a little over thirty dollars um, from euros, um, anywhere from this was ended up being a little, like twenty four Canadian dollars, which is a really good deal. It's a beautiful pen. I'm really tempted to buy one for myself, to be honest, because it's gorgeous. But um, I want to get my gifts out of the way first because. Uh, that's number one priority, I guess, um, because obviously I'm treating myself with saving for a house. So, and the chocolate, they, it's not a Dutch book chocolate. You can buy in Canada for like $3.50 or, $3 or to $3.50 each. Um, I find the variety in Canada is not so good, so I always buy them in Germany, and these were on sale for $0.55, cents, so, which is amazing. I mean, it's Euro cents, but still, it's amazing to your deal comparatively and my mom loves white uh, hazelnut chocolate so that's my little gift for her. I may include something else because I mean it is my mother um, but that's just something small so I always have something if I'm stuck at the end because I'm sure she'd really appreciate that gift. Alrighty so my next gift is for, I have to think about that, uh, my boyfriend's sister. It, I got it from Tel Aviv in Israel. I mean, I'm not saying that everyone can travel the world to get their uh, their gifts for everybody, but this is from Tel Aviv. It is a really, really good brand. Um, it's, uh, I have to remember, a friend told me about it. It's called Secret. I haven't tried it myself, but she said it's really, really expensive in Canada, so, um, in the US, so I, I got it in Israel and it was a steal of a deal. And it's a three set, it comes in a little bag, but I just wrapped it so it looks really pretty and very Christmassy, so it'll look really good under a tree. So yeah, that's her gift. It's something small, but um, it's something that I think she'll really appreciate when the time comes. All right, so another thing that you can actually, in Canada, there's a few things that I got here. Um, that I think are great. If you're just planning on giving a card to someone um, and you're going to see them in person, it's always cute. Just add a little chocolate bar. You can get them 50 cents at the dollar store. Really, like this one I got in Germany, but um, it, I think it's cute and it's something sweet and it's a little bit extra, a little more, more exciting than just a Christmas card. Anyway, so these fabulous cards, they are beautiful. This is the envelope. I, they're, like, I got bought stickers to put on there just because I like stickers. I remember loving stickers when I was a kid um, and cards. And then the, these were the cards. There was a set of, I think, 40 cards with the envelopes. And they're beautifully printed. They're um, from American Greetings. 
I think I paid three or four dollars for the whole set, 40, um, because I bought them end of season at 90% off. How crazy. Another, these I bought a couple years ago. Um, another set that I bought for my colleagues, it's from Hallmark, and this is so cute. So, these are the cards I have. Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas, just for the people who I'm not too sure um, what kind of um, holiday they celebrate. And it comes with little stickers, little clothes things, envelopes. So at the end, it looks like this. It has the sticker where I can label. Um, for me, we, I can put the employee number in there, so it'll go straight to the mail folder. And it has a little sealed sticker, so you don't have to lick up the envelope, which is really gross. Anyways, I got this at 90% as well. I think I got paid a dollar for it. Um, sometimes at the end of the season, a lot of card companies actually take all of their stock cards that only have one or two left, put it in a box, and they say five for a dollar. I've got my Mother's Day cards, my Valentine's Day cards, my a couple of birthday cards, a couple of like specialty that I know are going to be coming up. Um, birthday cards for, you know, turning one, turning five, whatever. So, and it's five for a dollar, and you can't even get them at the dollar store for that because you pay a dollar each. And they're nice designer cards, and I mean, it's fantastic. Another thing that I have, it's going to sound crazy, my boyfriend loves the soap from Bath and Body Works because the pump soap, he uses it for everything. He actually uses it to shave, which I was like, what, really? Because he's like, my skin actually... First, he has really sensitive skin and he loves it. And it's expensive. They're $5.50 each. Um, I got these for 75% off, which is exciting because they're nice little gifts that you can just put in a little basket with, um, I don't know, just stuff on the, the inside, like paper, whatever. And it's great. If you have a bunch of kids that you have to shop for and you know, nieces and nephews. I've got nieces and nephews, and I'm sorry, but I cannot afford to buy a separate gift for every single one of them. So, what do kids like? Candy! And they're going to get so many gifts from everybody else anyway, so it's not, and their parents, not a huge deal. I mean, we have a big family. If, like, and most, most people, most of my brothers and sisters don't buy for the other kids. So, I mean, I can do something small. See, they're usually Euro to Euro 30 in Germany. And the Hobby Bow. I usually pick them up when they're on sale uh, if they're 59 cents each. And kids go crazy because they get the whole bag all for themselves. So, I have a few of those as well. So, look out for sales now. Christmas comes every year, birthdays come every year. You know the people you have to buy for, your mom, your siblings, your dad, your grandma. You know those people who you have to buy for. So why don't you start doing it now when things are on sale and not sold out and you'll be stress-free later. Alright, thanks for listening and I'm sorry it took so long but I think you got the idea. <laughs>